Hello there, it's Courtney and welcome back to another match day vlog. Back at Anfield today as Liverpool take on Tottenham Hotspur in their second to last home game of this season. Only three games in total left to go now. I feel like this season's gone really fast but also dragged at times and obviously with being our second to last home game it means it's our second to last game with Klopp at Anfield. This could potentially be my last time seeing Jürgen at Anfield. I'm going to try not to cry yet but I have got my um, Jürgen Klopp top on today for him from Jack Designs go and check out some of his football tops they are brilliant but yeah, little Jürgen top on today for Jürgen and I'm going to have my scarf as well motion's already hitting me but we'll try and keep it calm yeah, like I said, I'm struggling to get a Wolves ticket so today could be my last game this season at Anfield and my last game with Klopp which is mental um but yeah going back into today's game um we're taking on tottenham hotspur last game at anfield probably is one of the most memorable games against tottenham i think we've had in a long long time apart from obviously when we went to london this year we won't talk about that um but when we played them last year at Anfield, does anyone remember Richarlison thinking he'd won the game for them? And then up stepped Diogo Jota, slotted it in the back of the net and yeah, after Richarlison celebrated like he'd won the game for Tottenham, it was very funny that we then won. Um, but yeah, today's game should be interesting. Unfortunately, there is no Diogo Jota and Klopp has said... As of yesterday, Virgil hadn't trained with the full squad yet. Um, not really sure what's going on, whether it's illness, whether it's a little knock or what, but we don't know if Virgil's going to be in the squad today, basically, so it's a bit nerve-wracking there. But good news is, Connor Bradley has come back from injury, which is amazing. Connor's been a massive standout this season alongside Kwanzaa. Bradley and Kwanzaa have been absolutely phenomenal coming up into the first team this season. It's nice to see that Bradley is back. But yeah, that means I'm going to head down early because I believe possibly the new Annie Road fan park might be open. So I'm going to go and try and see if it is. If not, what I'm going to do is show you um, the Forever Stones down there. Now I know a lot of people, like myself, would have got one for either themselves or a family member. We got one from my granddad Fred, which it was quite fitting because he used to race pigeons. And his loft was called the Anfield Loft. And he's now on Anfield Road, so nice full circle moment there but yeah I'm gonna go down there I'll show you a bit of that obviously the coach and then I will be going in for what might be my last game this season thoughts on the game haven't really got much like I've said for about a month now you never really know what to expect with Liverpool lately our form has not been brilliant um, and I just think it's a mixture of when players have come back from injury no one's come back the same um, Salah Sob a slide. Um, obviously, Jota came back briefly and then has gone out injured again. Um, who else? There's been other players that I've spoke about. Trent. Um, there's loads of players in the squad that just, for some reason, one way or another, they've come back from injury and it's just not seemed to be the same player. Um, which is odd to have such a big number of them that have done that. But you know, we'll deal with it. Also, I just think there's tiredness in the squad and mentally and physically so yeah but we'll see how it goes today as long as we get start getting wins again i'm happy i don't care if it's a boring game as long as we get them three points and the win i'll be happy um but yeah that being said let's go to anfield so here's a bit of um eco-friendly graffiti i think they call it which is um by mr muscle s sc johnson is it one of the club sponsors and they've put loads of there's john barnes up there but loads of them are all fan names and they go all the way down here it's a bit hard to see at the minute because it is a bit wet but there is loads of fan names put all the way down all the way down to the bottom of this road i've just come down to the anfield road stand now and as you can see people are heading in with hospitality at the minute now these grey gates either sad are supposed to be opening up for the fan park i got told that it might have opened up today it doesn't look like it has but maybe the last game of the season or maybe the start of next season i'd expect this to be open with a brand new fan park inside of it and hopefully it's nice especially for when we have the bad weather cold weather rain weather 
you can go inside and have the fan park instead but I'm going to take you down there towards um, where the Shankly gates are and show you the forever stones that have been put in. Here's a bunch of the forever stones here, you have the paler colour on the outside and then you have the grey ones in the middle where they have big ones and then they're surrounded by a little bit smaller ones but I absolutely love these, I think these are amazing especially how many fans there is and people use them to sort of remember people that are no longer with us anymore which I think is beautiful. And then the sections here that are surrounded and in the middle a massive lava bird which is lovely I say there's loads of these all over like you can see. I do wish they took it all the way down there but they haven't, it ends. It's a pretty small area but there is a lot of them. And then there's four stones along here that honour different people through our LFC's history. So here we have John McKenna, who was um, the director, the secretary, manager and the chairman early on in Liverpool's career. And as Nathan says, the men that built Anfield, so let's see who else there is. The next one is then William Edward Barclay um, and he was a secretary slash manager um, and he won the Lancashire League in 1892-93 um, and the second Division League Championship in 1893-94. and 94. These are really cool, it's like learning like the beginning of Anfield, the beginning of Liverpool Football Club. It's really nice to see. Let's go on to the next one and find out who that was. We then have Tom Watson, who was Liverpool's longest serving manager, um, and he had 742 games as Liverpool manager, winning the first Division League Championship in 1900 um, and 1905, second Division League Championship in 1904, and FA Cup runners up in 1914, well over 100 years ago, which is, um, shows how long this club's history goes for. And then the last one is Archibald Kia Lech, I think is how you say it, and he was the COPS creator, so he hired by LFC in 1906 to remodel the ground, including the Bank of Terrison, that would become the world's famous Spanian COP. Like, I love this little bit of history they've got going right up here, and it is right opposite the Shankly Gates, which just feels perfect. Oh, 
friend. Come on, Mo. Another win for Liverpool, 4-2 against Tottenham. Second half of the second half, Spurs tried to get back in it. Thank God they didn't. We sort of shut it down pretty quick, but they did get two goals in because of it. Um, our goals coming from Salah, Robbo, Harvey Elliott was an absolute screamer. Loved it, and Cody Gakpo. Um, so good to see us winning again, and a lot better from Liverpool today than it has been for a while now, at least a month, maybe more. Um, 
everyone just seems to be working the backsides off and playing a lot better. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. I thought I was nervous coming into this game. Um, pretty much have been, like I said, over a month now. Um, but yeah, it's it's good to get the win, and hopefully now we can get. The last two wins in Jürgen Klopp's era at Liverpool. Um, it was lovely to see Jürgen at the end of his fist bumps. And then I even spotted, after I put the camera away, um, he was walking off and then sort of to himself as a little, yes, like, it was the funniest thing ever. But yeah, made up. Massive win for Liverpool. Hopefully a massive boost now till towards the end of the season. And it does mean Spurs. Do not qualify for Champions League football next season. Um, which is quite ironic when today they were singing you lost league at Goodison Park. And I would like to remind Spurs fans. When was the last time you won the league? And also when was the last time you won the Champions League? Let alone be in it next season. So yeah, there's my little four to the end of the game but that being said I'm going to go now and enjoy the bank holiday weekend. Um, I am making a little farewell for Jürgen video and um, that'll be out after the end of the season so keep your eyes peeled for that and if you want to be a part of it um, email a video of yourself saying either thank you Jürgen or danke Jürgen um, to courtney.navy.media at gmail.com um, it will all be in the description below but yeah um, that being said I'll see you all next time, which now will probably be the Wolves game, last game of the season, and Jürgen's final game at Anfield as manager. So yeah, with that being said, I'll see you all then. Bye!